Hey, it's Mike here, and I'm really excited because one of my favorite YouTube channels, Buildapreneur, just put out a new video called How to Earn $50 a Day on ClickBank While You Sleep with Proof. Now, the reason why I'm excited about this is that this guy, in general, backs up his, like, hypey headlines. So that's that's why I like it. It's not just some, like, another, oh, earn $100 a day while you sleep, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I know there's going to be some substance behind this. Don't let me down, Buildapreneur. I'm going to go ahead and give him a like on this. If you guys can like my video, as well. It really, 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 really helps out with my YouTube channel and I appreciate it so much. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Let's jump in and see what this $50 dank a day ClickBank method is and even while you sleep with proof. So a couple mornings ago, I woke up and I logged into my ClickBank account out of the blue. Honestly, I haven't logged into my ClickBank account or even thought about ClickBank for probably three to four months. But I logged in and this is what I saw right here. You can see here, I made about $900 in the last 23 days and about $1,000 a month is what I'm on track to make right now. From Okay, so he's like surprised that he made money. He probably did some work in the past and then he that's why he's getting paid for it. Some kind of a passive income thing. ClickBank. Now, honestly, this felt crazy even to me because I haven't put any money into ClickBank or any time into ClickBank in months. I haven't done anything to promote products. I haven't spent any money to promote products, none of that stuff, but to still be making $1,000 a month is pretty cool. Yeah. And in fact, once you take the initial time, so this does take some initial time to get set up and running, and it takes about a hundred bucks. But once you get everything set up and running, it can just run on autopilot. It can do it for months or probably even years without you having to put in any more effort. I love things like that. Passive income where you just put in the work, which you have to work. Like that's one of the things that everyone thinks that you're like, oh, I'm just going to make passive income magically. No, you have to put in the work initially. But when it comes in like that, oh, it's so sweet. Once the ball is rolling. So this is just going to be a simple tutorial. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to show you really straightforward on my screen how you can go about doing exactly what it is that cool. I'm doing. If you want to start building up a ClickBank income. And honestly, you can take the, the stuff that I'm doing here and go well beyond what I've done with it, right? Probably $1,000 a month is probably the minimum of what you can do if you actually put time and continue to put effort into what I'm going to show you. I'd say $1,000 a month is pretty life-changing income. Come. Now, it's not going to replace your job or necessarily like make it so that you can just drop everything. But $1,000 a month for a lot of people will pay for groceries, will pay for car payments. It will make things a lot easier. Now, we're actually going to do this in a different order than probably most of the ClickBank tutorials go about teaching this. And there's a very specific reason for that. And we'll explain it as we go. Um, but first, you're going to need to create a ClickBank account. If you haven't done that, I'm not going to show you. Pretty easy to put in an email address and create a password. Uh Thank you for not showing us that. Some of these video tutorials, they just walk you through every single thing like how to sign how to put in your info and it's just unnecessary but once you create the account you're going to go up here and you're going to click on marketplace right here and this is going to show us all of the different products that are available on clickbank right and you can see it's got tons of different categories i can go to all right here and it's going to pull them all up right here each category also has a bunch of different subcategories. Now, we're not gonna pick a product to promote right now because the way that we're gonna do this is we're actually gonna be creating some content and we're gonna figure out which content does best and then we're gonna attach a product to that content. But let me guess, are we gonna use ChatGPT to create the content? Like that's what I see every all the time now is everyone's using ChatGPT. Let's see what we actually use. We are going to pick a category. You've got to pick a category for this to work. If you bounce around between all these different categories, this will not work at all for you. So we're gonna pick one and I would recommend choosing something in the e-business, e-marketing, essentially the, the make money online space, or you- Make money online space, it's so profitable. Just it, don't try to go into some random niche. Just pick something that works. Later on, once you figure this out, you can go and try something else, but stick with the ones that work. You can choose something in the health space, like uh, health and fitness right here. I would go one of those and pick a subcategory that you want to start with. Now, if you're familiar with affiliate marketing, that's what ClickBank is, right? We're going to be finding these products that we can promote and we're gonna become an affiliate for these products and then we're going to send leads or traffic to these products and we're gonna get paid when people convert. That's all. Well, the hardest part that most people mess up with is the traffic part. Like that's where you either have to put time in or money. Affiliate marketing is, right? It's a, it's really a two-step process if you oversimplify it where we've got a link and we've got traffic. And if we can send traffic or we can send people from the internet to click our link and go to that page, then a certain number of them will buy and we'll get paid. So really the key to making affiliate marketing work is traffic. Now you can watch 10 different ClickBank tutorials on YouTube and you're gonna find there's probably 10 different traffic sources. Each person is actually going to tell you a different way to go about getting people to see and then click.
click your link. Now, yeah, but how many of them are actually real methods? That's the, that's the thing. Like I see all these people making videos about it, but I want to see proof. I'm going to try to break down traffic for you so you understand why you're seeing this and how you can pick the one that I'm using and what I consider the best traffic source by far and why it's that way. So you can see up here, we've got paid and we've got organic. And essentially all that means is every single platform out there that we're going to try to pull people from to get them to click our link and go make a purchase, every single one of those platforms has a way that you can organically or freely get your content viewed and then get your links clicked. And then it also has a paid method, right? And that's where you just pay the platform. You tell them who you want to see your piece of content and they charge you a little bit of money and then they throw the content in front of those people. If you can master paid traffic, you can get a lot of traffic, but you need to be able to figure out what traffic converts and that's where skill comes in. People. You can see here's a Facebook ad, here's a Quora ad, here's a Google ad, here's a YouTube ad. All of these are different ads that people are placing and paying in order to get eyeballs on their stuff. Now that we know that every platform out there has a paid and an organic side, we need to know what kind of platforms are out there. And you can see we've got social media platforms and we've got a search engines. Okay, and a search engine is Google. It's a part of YouTube, right? It's Quora. So these are things where people come and they search for something that they're trying to learn about. I didn't even know a lot of traffic would come from Quora. Usually I would hear people say like Google, YouTube and maybe Bing. And then you put content in front of them and you answer their question. Now, the other side of this is the social platforms, right? These are the Facebooks, this is the TikToks, the Instagrams. Now, these platforms are different because someone doesn't go to these platforms with a problem in mind, looking to get that problem solved, right? They typically go to these platforms to basically sit there and hold open a phone and scroll and shut down their brain and do nothing. They're typically not on these platforms looking to buy things. However, they are great platforms if you're gonna be retargeting people and bringing them back. So if they've initially searched for something, and then they're now they're on Instagram looking around and they are, they're like, oh, wow, yeah, I, I remember I was looking at that. And now I'm going to go buy it. So that's a great way of retargeting. Now, what this means, that's fine. You can sell on these platforms, right? You can sell on Facebook and you can sell on TikTok, but you've got to use a totally different type of marketing. It's called interruption marketing. Mm -hmm. Essentially, you've got to get in people's faces and be crazy and do the craziest thing on mm -hmm. the internet, right? And whoever does the craziest thing, you're probably the one that's going to show up. And then you've got to take this person who's really just interested in scrolling across the internet and you've got to slowly get them convinced that, hey, I know that you're just watching my content because it's entertaining, but I actually, here's a cool product. Why don't you learn a little bit more about this? And then over time, you convince them to buy the product. That's a long process though. And you've got to really get your targeting down if you want to like bring a product, show it to them, get them interested in it and eventually buy it. Like I said before, retargeting is going to be a lot easier. Product. It works and it's definitely a real thing, but it's a much longer journey mm -hmm. and it takes a lot more expertise in my opinion to make money using that method. So for beginners, the best square by far by far is this square right here. And that's the square that's the mix of free and search, right? It's a I lot agree. easier to get somebody that's searching for something already. It's a lot easier to solve their problems and to get them to pay attention to you than it is to say to somebody who's not looking for what you've got and try to get them to pay attention to you. Mom, mommy, mommy, <laughs> mommy, mama. What? And then of course, as a beginner, you don't wanna spend thousands of dollars every single day trying to test ads and figure out if something works or not. So like, I don't mind spending thousands of dollars every day if I'm making $2,000 a day, but that's a, the thing is it takes expertise to be able to do that. So I don't mind spending money, but as long as I'm making money back. There's two main search engines that we're gonna use for this method. You don't have to use them both, but you can use them both. Now, I personally am just using Google for what I'm showing you uh, in the beginning of this video. I just am using Google for that, but you can- I'm curious if he's gonna actually show us like his real ads and stuff. Very easily bring YouTube into this as well and do not a lot more work, but double the results. So YouTube and Google are the biggest two search engines in the world and that's what we're gonna use. Now here's what the traditional route is uh, for somebody that's doing Google or YouTube and we're not going to take the traditional route because we don't wanna be competing with 5,000 people. They go to the top offers on ClickBank right here, right? And they say, oh, Al Pauline, I don't even know what that is. Then they go to YouTube and they make a review of Al Alpaline, I don't think I'm even spelling it right. Um, but you can see right here, Alpaline review, right? Alpaline review, Alpaline review. And then they do the same thing on Google and that's how they go about it. Now the I mean, that's free traffic right there though. That's nice free traffic. The problem with this is, let me scroll down and I'll show you the problem. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. We're still seeing Al Alpaline reviews, right? Well, guess what? We're competing with all those people. There's only a few videos that are gonna show up on Alpaline Review. So the rest of these guys down here have made a bunch of videos and they're not seeing any mm. results from that. They're competing with hundreds of other affiliate marketers trying to make money with ClickBank. So not only is this method a lot more competitive, but this method also has another negative and that's that these products come and go constantly. Sure. Someone launches a product on ClickBank, they go crazy for a few months and then it disappears, right? And you did all this work, you made this awesome YouTube review. Maybe you made a good one and you actually managed to show up first. That's all great, but in three or four 
four months, they've moved on, and now your YouTube video is not getting any views because no one's looking for a review of this product anymore. So we want something timeless, right? We wanna wake up in three months and log into ClickBank and see that there's still money coming in even though we haven't really been focusing on it. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna find people on Google and YouTube that would buy these products if they knew about these ClickBank products, but they don't, and so they're not buying them. But they're mm. still on YouTube and they're still on Google. They're the right person, they're the right fit for the product. They just don't know about it yet. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna find those guys. Now, this is great because it's gonna be less competitive, but we're also not gonna run into that second issue where the products come and go. We're gonna be able to switch out products anytime a product starts to fizzle and die and stop pushing. That's okay, we'll just swap out to the next product. That's the thing, like when you're doing paid ads or something, you can switch it out and do something different. All we're doing is creating an audience, a group of people that like a specific thing. And we can swap out the top selling ClickBank product as many times as we need to for that audience. All right, now we are gonna need a tool to do this. And uh, full disclosure, this tool does cost $100 a month. Like I said, you're gonna have to put in expensive. a little bit of initial money. Now, if you don't have $100, that's fine. We're all in different places. You can get this done for significantly cheaper if you just go to Fiverr and you type in Ahrefs keyword research, you can hire somebody to do this in their Fiverr account for five or 10 bucks. He meant in their Ahrefs account. I mean, you could also, by the way, if you purchase Ahrefs, you could also do the same Fiverr gig and charge other people to do research for them. I and mean, that's just an idea of trying to get some of your money back. And save yourself 90 to $95. Now, if you can, you'll wanna get an Ahrefs account for a month and do all of this in that month, but that is an alternative. Now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to this keyword explorer up here in Ahrefs and you're gonna take the category that you pick. So we're in ClickBank here. We've chosen one of these categories. Let's say uh, for me, it's e-business and e-marketing, right? I do a lot of that stuff like side hustles, make money online. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Ahrefs right here and we're gonna type in side hustles, okay? And okay. it's gonna give us all of these different things that people go to Google and they type in and search. Now there's three different ways it's gonna give you the data. You can see matching terms. That means people that typed in side hustles into Google. Plus and look, it says that's a hard keyword term. Plus some other words. Right here is related terms, meaning, well, you know, people typed in side hustles, but they're also looking for all of these things. There's some other words people look for on Google. You might go for that. Or search suggestions. These are things that Google suggests are similar to people that are looking for this. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to related terms. We kind of want a broad, uh, diverse group of people. These are people that are interested in side hustles, making money online, all of that stuff. We wanna know what are they typing into Google? But more specifically, we're gonna do three important things. We're gonna do keyword difficulty, and that's essentially a score out of 100, okay, the max being 100 right here. And we want to make content that no one else is making, right? We want very little competition for the content we're gonna create. So we want stuff that people are typing into Google that are interested in making money, but that very few other bloggers have made content about. That's, see, this is the hard thing. You, you want to find something, and usually when you've tried to find terms that don't have a lot of competition, it means there aren't a lot of searches as well. So it's really like trying to find these special, special keywords. So it's nice to have a tool like this. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna type in max of 10 here. That means out of 100, we want things that are 10 and below in terms of ranking difficulty, right? So very easy. Now the reason for that is you probably have a brand new blog and you're gonna be competing with a lot of bigger blogs. And so you don't wanna have this competition with a blog that's massive like Forbes.com. You want to maybe compete with a few other smaller blogs and that's it. Now the second thing is we do want things that actually get searched, right? We want people to actually type in and search these things so that we can grab them and pull them over to this ClickBank product. That's the biggest mistake people make is like go out, like out in ranking for content and then finding out that there's nothing, no one's searching for it. I did that mistake. I made like a whole niche blog about escorted bus tours. I found this keyword that was escorted bus tours and I thought that it had all these searches and I ranked number one in Google and I didn't make like any money, maybe just like a little bit of money from it. I didn't get very many searches at all and I found out that no one was searching for it. So you gotta be really do your research or you're gonna spend a lot of time or money and it's gonna be all for, for none. So we're gonna go to volume and that's how many times people search this a month. I find that it's always a little low so we say 100 and we're probably in reality getting uh, keywords that are being typed two, three, 400 times a month. And then the last thing I always do is I kind of want phrases. I find they're easier to rank for. So word count, I always say at least three, meaning can't be like a single word like ClickBank or hustle, right? I want things that are at least three words. Then we're gonna click show results right here. And this green thing is new, so I don't really use that, but we're gonna scroll down here. And what we're looking for is things that we could write articles about. And don't worry, if you're not a writer and you don't have enough money to hire a writer, we're gonna show you how all of this works without you being a writer and without you having to have a bunch of money to hire. It's probably gonna be ChatGPT coming in here. Hire a team of writers. Now, obviously all of these aren't gonna be good, right? This is just giving us a data dump. Here's everything that Ahrefs could find and we're gonna go through and we're gonna pick good ones. So as we kind of scroll down, ones that are catching my eye of, of basically these are people that are looking Websites where men give you money. 
What, what kind of website's that? To make some extra money online, right? They're in our space. Well, one might be websites where men give you money. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd recommend that, but maybe we could write a good article and actually say, hey, there's better ways in our article, <laughs> right? We could take this article and say, hey, at the end of it, let's not go this route, let's go a different route. All right, continuing going down here, right? We can see how to make 10K a month. That's somebody, like somebody typing that and they're looking for that a bank product so in that space, right? The e-business, the e-side hustle space. That's a great space there. I can continue to scroll down and I can see, is social earn legit? Now I think social earn is like an app or a website that pays you money, right? One of those. And there's a thousand people saying, is it legit? And it's very easy to rank for. So that's a great option to go for. Down here, we've got side hustles for men. Okay, that's a great option to go for. And we can continue to just go down. You can see Amazon side hustle. It's a nine out of a hundred in terms of difficulty. It's got 700 people searching it a month, probably more. And we can just keep going down and down and down. And we can come up with a list of 10, 20, 30, probably at least a hundred different things things that we could make content about for both Google and YouTube that people are looking for that would also be interested in a lot of these products that sell in the e-business mm -hmm. and e-marketing section of ClickBank, right? Now this isn't a full blog tutorial, but next you're going to create your blog and this doesn't need to be nearly as complicated as a lot of tutorials make it. You can, you can just go online and, and search on YouTube how to create a WordPress blog and there's so many tutorials about it. So, and it's very, very easy and you can even get someone to do it for you on Fiverr. Use a site called WordPress, you can use a site called Wix. I would recommend WordPress because you're gonna save money in the long run and you're probably gonna have better results in the long run. It's going to have a little bit more of a learning curve. You're gonna to have to spend a little more time understanding how it all works and how the CMS works. But once you get used to it, it's very, very easy. And I'll even show you my WordPress site right here. It's really easy, guys. If you don't have a WordPress website, it, you can learn it in, a, in like just a few tutorials. You can see this is the back end of my WordPress site. And all I've got to do is I've got to go here and I've got to click add new post. And you can see right here, all I'm going to be doing is adding a title to the post. I'm going to be adding all the text from the post and then I'm going to add a category and a custom image. It's not super hard once you get everything set up and running. Now, like I promised, you're not gonna have to hire a writer, nor do you have to be a great, incredible writer for this to work. That's because ChatGT- I knew it. Here we go, ChatGPT. P came out a few months ago, and we can use ChatGTP to make most of this content. We're just gonna need to do some minor things to make sure that it still does well inside of Google. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna come up with a title, which we already got all of our keywords, right? We ran into side hustles for men, side hustles for women, all those different things. We're gonna pick one, and we're gonna pick side hustles for women here, and we're gonna throw it into ChatGTP. We're gonna say, write a 2,000 word blog post on the best side hustles for women. Now, it is important that you do longer blog posts. So I would say somewhere from 1,500 to 2,500 words for each of these blog posts. Those those tend to just do better for me. Now, and in the past, you would have to pay someone to do this for you or spend a ton of time writing articles. Now it's so easy. You can see it's gonna start writing. It's gonna do a little intro and then it's going to start writing freelance writing, virtual assistants. Now it's moving pretty quick. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pause ChatGTP and we're gonna say, hold on, I want you to add more details about freelance writing. Then it's going to break down freelance writing a little better. And so what you're gonna do, you might have to prompt it a few times to build out the full 2000 word article. It might come up with something that's 500 words and you're gonna to have to say, hey, can you expound a little bit on this? Can you add a few more paragraphs about um, writing opportunities or about- Are we gonna to get to the point where the internet's just full of AI? Like it's not gonna be real people anymore. It's, it's an in interesting development. About this or finding clients, right? You can easily do that and it only takes a few minutes to tell JetTTP and build out that 2000 word article that you're looking to get. Now, once you get it, this is really important. Google can typically tell if, if something is written completely by AI. What it can't tell is if something is outlined and structured and basically written by AI with a human touch to it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through, you're gonna spend about 10 minutes total and you're just gonna make some light tweaks. Like I would say this this way, I would say this this way, uh, you know, I would switch this around a little bit. I would switch these these two sections around a little bit. You're just gonna make some minor tweaks and adjustments to it so that it becomes yours instead of AI and so that it no longer reads like it was an artificial intelligence that actually wrote the article. I mean, that makes sense. You use AI to help you get a basic article written and then make it a little bit different and so you're not fully AI. I mean, that's, I always tell people AI isn't meant to simply replace us. It's meant to help us. Now you can literally just copy and paste and then build it all out and make all the edits directly inside of this WordPress editor right here. You can see it's just a regular text editor. You paste it all in there and you can make all the adjustments pretty quickly. Now you're going to need to come up with a title and a title is actually pretty important. And so I'm going to show you a really easy way to come up with a good title that has a lot of chance of ranking. Now, first off, the title does need to include the keyword that we want to rank for, right? So in this case, we want when people type in side hustles, for women, right? We want our blog to be one of the ones to show up right here. And so we definitely want to include side hustles for women. You can see all of these guys are doing that. Now, what I'm going to do is what I call vertical moving. So we're just going to move across vertical 
one direction, and we're gonna see what titles they're using there and use the same ones. So what I would do is I would type in side hustles for men. So I'm literally just gonna take this title right here, side hustles for men, the one they have, 15 profitable side hustle ideas for men to start in 2022, and I'm gonna transport it over and make my article 15 profitable side hustle ideas for women. That's a neat idea, I like that. To start. Like I always tell you guys, if you watch these videos, you might just learn one tip or trick from one of these things and you might not do the method that they teach you but if you just learn one thing that helps you out i mean it could end up being something that really helps out in your business in 2023 now what you're going to do is you could probably put out an article every day right this will take with chat gtp it'll take you 30 to 40 minutes a day to put out an article mm. and you're going to start putting out as many as you can of these articles that are hopefully going to rank now you're probably not going to see anything in the first 30 days this is going to take a little time to build up but eventually you're going to start to see articles start to pop off you'll see some not do well at all they don't even show up in, in the top 10 or anything like that and you'll see some actually start to rank and actually start to get traffic from google where people are searching and they click on your article and they show up on your page and cool. that's where we can now start doing something. So what we're gonna do is we're going to look at the article that's ranking and we're gonna go find a matching ClickBank article that makes sense. So a good example for my blog is when someone types in get paid to watch Netflix, you can see I think I'm spot five right now. Nice. And I've got this article, seven that's legit cool. ways to get paid to watch Netflix, right? So I'm gonna head over here to ClickBank. I'm gonna go to this e-business and e-marketing category and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find something that I think someone looking to get paid to watch Netflix might also be interested in. Yeah, so you can add in like a related affiliate offer. And you can see right here, live chat jobs might be something. Maybe even better though is get paid to use Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. That is yeah, right in line like with what that. these guys are looking for, right? And so I'm gonna pick that product and I'm gonna get my affiliate link. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click promote. You can see I can add a tracking ID. I can add blog right there. And I'm gonna click create hop link. This is my link. If someone clicks that link, and they go ahead and purchase the product at the end of the line, which is this product right here, then I'm going to go get paid. So here's what I do with that affiliate link now. So let's go ahead and click the link. So it looks like this is how he's getting traffic and how he's making money with this. So he's actually showing us his traffic method and he's showing us the money that he's made. I like this. And see what it is I'm doing with my affiliate link that ClickBank just gave me. You can see right here, this is the blog article. And at the very top, I've created, uh, using a little plug and play builder called Elementor, these two buttons right here. And you can see right here, it's got a button that they can click right there. Online social media jobs that pay $30 an hour. That's the headline of, of their thing. Now what's happening is a certain number of these people that search for how to get paid mm -hmm. to watch Netflix come to this page. They start to scroll down. They see, oh, here's a similar thing. Social media jobs that pay $30 an hour. They click that check opportunity button and they head over to that page. And if they choose to purchase, then I'm able to make commissions off of that. Now I wanna show you something else that's just so cool. And we're gonna look inside that post one more time to see that. And you can see right here, what I'm gonna show you is the date this post was published. And and it was published on January 14th, 2022. That's cool, so this is very new. Which was over a year ago. Oh, sorry, not, not that new, a year ago. And this is what I'm talking about, where you can start creating content, it can slowly start to rank, and then it can start to bring in money as you sleep, as you mm -hmm. beach, whatever it is that you're doing. That can be happening on autopilot with some of these old articles that are just sitting there in Google, getting people to click on them every single day. Even better than that, let me show you how you can triple up on the amount of money you can make with each article with almost no more work. So we've already seen that we can add these right here, right, and we can make money with that. But you can see after 10 seconds, this actually pops up and this is where I capture their email address. Next, I can start sending them emails. I can send them emails about those ClickBank products or I can find some better products that I can start sending them emails about as well. That's the thing, get people on an email list. That's the best thing you can do. Then you can promote to them over and over again. That only takes about 10 minutes to set up and now I've essentially doubled up on how much money I'm making from my blog. Now scroll down a little bit and you can see this right here is a little piece of code where I've add, actually added ads to my blog as well, where if someone sees this ad and clicks on that, now I'm making an additional 20, 30 bucks a day off of these ads that are showing up in all the posts as well. And what I've done is I've essentially tripled up on what I'm able to make from my blog with almost no more work, right? I just add a little bit of code to the page and these ads show up. I add a little bit of code to the page and that email marketing opt-in shows up. And from then on, I don't have to worry about either of those either. This method is so cool because it just continues to grow on itself. And you can see how you could easily surpass what I'm doing with it on the side here if you actually put a lot of time and effort into it. So what do you guys think of this method? I, I personally think that it's completely legit. It completely will, completely will work. It doesn't take a ton of work uh, and it's something that anyone can do. You just need a WordPress website in order to do it and you can start creating content with ChatGPT. Uh, it won't work. It's not like get rich quick instantly, which I know a lot of people want, but it's get rich uh, slowly which is something that if, you're, if you've been around for any amount of time, you know that these businesses are, aren't created overnight. You gotta put in the time and the effort. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this and please like this video. It really helps out on the YouTube channel and I appreciate it. And if you watch this far, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks.